Hi everyone, my name is Chandler and I'm a product designer here at Heidi. Today, I'll be going through a new feature we're releasing for Heidi called Link Patient Sessions, also known as Patient Profiles. Patient Profiles are a really easy way to string together a collection of multiple visits for a single patient so that you can easily navigate between past sessions and access prior consults, as well as have a centralized place to manage everything for a particular patient. To see Patient Profiles in action, first we'll create a new session with Heidi. We will start transcribing as normal. And now up the top here, when we go to edit our patient details, once we click into here, we'll see the new linked patient profile dropdown. If you have profiles already set up, they'll show here in the list. In this case, we haven't created any yet, so we'll need to go ahead and create our first one. Once we type into this input here, it will take the text and use this to be able to create a profile. Now we've done that and we've created our first profile. We'll see this icon here to show that the session is linked to a profile. So we can now go ahead with our session as normal and we'll stop it here. I can also go back and update a previous session. So in this case, I'll pick this one here and I also need to add this to Aaron Dunn's profile. So I can either select him from the all patients list, or if I was to start from scratch and type in his name, it's also going to show up in the suggested list as it's going to match what we're typing against the profiles that have already been created. So now we will have our session, our second session linked to Aaron, and we'll also just go ahead and create one more. So now we have two profiles. Let's go back to Aaron's one. Now we're starting to build up a bit of a patient profile. We can start to see more information about him. If we click on the date here, we can see a list of all of the past sessions and we can use this to quickly navigate between all of them. From within this dropdown, we can also edit the past sessions. If we accidentally linked a session that we weren't meant to, we can click this to unlink. We can also edit the date time of the session. So if I pick this one, for example, say this session started a bit later than it was meant to, uh, perhaps the patient was booked for 4 p.m., but it took longer to get started in Heidi. And for record keeping sake, we wanna keep it to the time of the booking. We could come into here and update it to 4 p.m. We can also edit the profile itself. So if we accidentally made a mistake when naming this patient, we can update this and this will apply to both of the previous sessions for this patient. In addition to being able to manage profiles within the session view in Heidi, we can also do this via the list of sessions in the sidebar. Sessions that have already been linked to a profile will have this icon next to it to indicate that it's attached to a profile. And a session that hasn't been linked yet, if we hover over it, we'll have this icon appear to be able to set up a profile link. Once we click this, we'll be shown a list of all of the profiles that we've created we can also search if we're looking for a particular one. And we can select that, and now the icon has appeared to show that it's been linked. We can also create a new profile from scratch. So if we select Create New Patient, where possible, Heidi is going to automatically suggest the name for you. So if you've entered patient details, we will take this to suggest the patient profile name automatically. So once we save this, now we have another profile created. To help with managing linking patients at scale, you can also multi-select sessions and link multiple at the same time. Once we select, we hover over and then select a session, there's now a control at the bottom here to link to a profile. If we combo this with search, for example, 
let's say there's been multiple repeat visits about chest pain, if we select all three of these and then choose link session three, we'll again see our list of profiles that we've created. And if I select this, we've now multi-linked to Aaron's profile. Now within the sidebar, if we hover over one of Aaron's sessions, we can see this popover that will show all of his previous sessions and it will allow us to quickly go back and view any of those if we need to. From here within this past sessions view, there's also some management we can do if needed. So we can unlink this session if we did this by accident. You can also select one or multiple and you can unlink or delete particular ones if you need to. At any point, you can also delete all sessions for this patient if you need to get rid of the profile entirely. There will be a confirmation though, as there is no way to get these sessions back once they are deleted from Heidi. And everything that we see here in this past sessions dropdown is the same as what we see within the session itself. So there are two ways to quickly access the list of sessions as well as manage, unlink, edit as needed. And that's it for the overview of patient linking in Heidi. We really hope you enjoy using this feature and find it easier to manage sessions at scale now. Patient profiles are also a really important first step towards future functionalities within Heidi. We're currently working on being able to use these profiles to show pre-chart summaries ahead of a session, as well as using information from previous sessions as a part of notes or documents. We'll have more to share on this soon. Thanks for watching and please reach out to the Heidi team if you have any questions about this feature or if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear what you think. Thank you.